Want to deal the highest damage and pretty much destroy any boss in Elden Ring? Well, today I'm going to be showing you guys my Paladin Strength build for Endgame, which is going to provide you guys with the highest amount of damage that you can output on any foe, making it a cakewalk in Elden Ring for you guys. Well, if you like how that sounds, a like is much appreciated. Well, so, if you guys love the strength builds and want to deal damage to the foes and want to go one against one and just get down dirty, well, today, guys, I'm going to show you what you need to do to become very powerful. We're going to go Super Saiyan to the max level, Ultra Instinct, all the way to bring down any enemy in Elden Ring. So what we are going to do is the following, guys. So for equipment, we're going to go step by step. We're going to use the Veteran's Helm equipment because this armor is going to provide us what we need to be able to withstand different type of hits from different enemies. And it's going to help us carry on what we need to do with this build. Next up, we are going to focus on the power of the Iron Greatsword, a fully leveled up, it weights 12, 365 physical damage, B strength attribute scaling, which makes this weapon a very powerful weapon. But we are going to just add a little bit of extra sauce, making this baby even stronger and even faster. You guys know that a great sword is not the fastest weapon in the game, but we're about to dance. That's right. We're going to implement the Asha War sword dance, which is going to output so much damage onto any enemy because pretty much what you're going to be doing is dancing around your enemy causing them oh to stutter and of course i'm just I'm just messing around with you guys but pretty much you're just going to deal so much damage they are not even going to know where this is coming from okay the location of the ash war is going to be in this section you're going to come to this grace point the uh, revenge shack and it's going to be around this section and right around here is you're going to find a scarab you, once you kill it you're going to get the actual war are going to make as you guys see right now it's at 673 attack power and we were just going to double that because you know what the more power we got the better we're going to be in the elden ring world so next up we are going to take advantage of a couple of talismans one is the warrior shard Second is the Rotten Swing Sword Insignia because what we need to do is greatly raise attack power with all the successive attacks because let me show you guys what this actual were implemented in the sword does. Look at this. You're just pretty much dancing all over and at the end you get this powerful attack. And boom! Like that. And you're just pretty much dancing around for your foe. So if we continue, next one is going to be you're going to take advantage of the Millicent Frostesis Talisman, which is going to boost our attack power with successive attacks. And as you see that, you're able to implement up to five hits all at once. Don't need to smash those buttons because this Ashower does the job that we need to. And then lastly, we're going to take advantage of the great shield talisman which is going to boost our guarding ability because we're going to be dancing but when you're dancing you also got to have a little bit of extra help making you a little bit more tanky giving us more poise at 79 which is going to be enough to help us defeat any enemy in elden ring all right so what you guys need to do next is one is you are going to use the golden bow. You're also going to use the electrified armament and of course, flame grant meets and strength. What we're going to do is take advantage of the electrified armament because what we're going to do is pretty much we're going to add lightning to this. And what we are doing is the following guys. So if you guys follow me, follow me guys, watch how we're going to make this so powerful you're gonna be like damn boy i need this right now 
And next up, we are going to use is the da -da -da -da, flame me, grab me some strength, which is to make ourselves a little bit more powerful, giving us full and then golden bow, which is going to make us even stronger. And then we are going to use the flask wondrous, which I will let you guys know exactly what I have in it. And then lastly, with the blood boil aromatic and check this out, guys, pretty much. We just went to 1296. Damn, that's so strong. We're about to hit anybody that comes so close to us. They're going to be like, damn, boy, please don't hit me because we're coming so strong. So as you guys see, I'll show you guys really quickly right here. Look at this dancing. Look at all that damage. Bam, 40, 90. That foe didn't imagine. Look at that. I almost took half of the strength as you guys see. So. Let me get away, guys. Starting to show you guys example. Okay, so next is I'm going to show you what is in my wondrous physics, which is one. The first one is going to be the strength knot crystal tier, which is temporarily boost strength in mixed physics, which guys, I already told you what I'm doing here is I am doing a paladin strength build, which is one, I'm using the strength, and two, I'm using incantations to make my build even more super strong, reaching that super saiyan level that no one can reach. Only Goku is able to do that. And next up is the temporarily boost lightning attacks in mixed physics, which is what you saw me do here, where I am doing the electrified armament. I'm making that weapon with the Electrify Artman even more stronger. So when I deal damage, and as you guys saw that, I pretty much doubled my power and giving me the power in my hand to be able to take down anyone in Elden Ring. Now, if you guys wanna know where exactly you can get the Great Sword, I have the link in the description where exactly you need to go. And also, if you wanna know, I know I get a lot of questions in the comments, what type of armor are you wearing? So this is the Veterans Gauntlets, and if you guys wanna know how to get it, the link is going to be in the description. All the links to the talismans, to all this type of um, things that I'm using here, to make me a more powerful being in Elden Ring are going to be right on the top of the description. I will be leaving all the descriptions in there for you guys so you guys can go and get everything that you need. Now, if you guys want to know where exactly you can get that strength tier that is pretty much going to boost this build, you are going, you're going to need to go to the Stormhelm Shack and what you need to do is you travel through here and it's right around here behind the big giant that is going to be there. Just go around him and then you're going to find that tier. So let me just demonstrate you guys one more time. Electra 5 Art Mint, Flame grant me some strength, Golden Bow, Blood Boil Aromatic, and we are going to use our Physics Flask. And then boom, check out the power that is in within your hands. 1296. That foe is not gonna know what hit him. And then we just smack him. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that, guys. Bam! 4940. It's just ridiculous power. And look how fast, pretty much took him down. Very easy. Very easy, guys. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and also check out this video here that will show you how to one shot any boss. And if you're having trouble with Melina, this bill is going to pretty much make you a god.